brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Stay calm and carry on. That's the message from Governor Eddie Baza Calvo in response to concerns over a possible missile strike from North Korea. I've gotten assurances again from all levels, both local command and Washington D.C., uh, that this island will be defended and is uh, and and the United States uh, military has their forces ready to protect and defend not only Guam but all American interest uh, in this region and the homeland. Calvo says this after speaking with officials from the White House, National Security Agency and the commander of Joint Region Marianas, Rear Admiral Shoshana Chatfield. There is a lot of rhetoric that is going on right now, both uh, by the North Korean leader and also by some of the reports that are coming out with the national and the international media. Uh, but this is this point, to this point, it has been made very clear to me that the defenses of this island uh, and the perceived threats, uh, there has been no change of status. Meanwhile, JRM Public Affairs Officer Greg Kuntz maintained the military is prepared for any situation. He told KUAM, quote, we always maintain a high state of readiness and have the capabilities to counter any threat, end quote. Adjutant General Brigadier General Roderick Leon Guerrero added, quote, the Guam National Guard stands ready to provide trained and ready personnel and equipment in the event of any federal or local emergency, end quote. We will be having this constant communication with the local command and also uh, with the federal government of anything, uh, of anything changes. And that's something I, 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 I commit to the people and commit to the media that we're going to get information real time. Once we get it, we'll get it to you folks. But what if a missile strike were to actually happen? Guam Homeland Security Advisor George Charfer said missile defense systems are in place to protect the island, including the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System at Anderson Air Force Base. The Department of Defense has reported the THAAD can shoot down long-range ballistic missiles and has a 100 percent accuracy rate to date. That capability still exists and it's the condition of that uh, is highly it's re ready. Okay, so that's one missile system. The other, there's right around the Sea of Japan, they have the Aegis warships. Uh, those are also uh, you know, part of the national missile defense. With all the defense capabilities in place, Charfra said there's a 0.00001% chance of a missile reaching Guam. However, Calvo will be convening the Unified Coordination Group, which includes Rear Admiral Chatfield, to further discuss the readiness of federal and local first responders. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.